it is almost that time of the year where red baits really become a thing. Everybody knows in the spring when the fish move up to spawn that red is just one of those natural trigger colors. And pretty much every brand has taken advantage of that and created different red shades through their line. So today, Jeff and I are gonna break down our favorite red baits. These are baits across different lines from crankbaits to jerkbaits to spinnerbaits. So that if you guys are preparing for this time of the year in the season, you know which ones are important to have and which ones aren't. So if you're ready, let's do it. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku on Instagram. Of course, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. What's up, Jeffrey the King? Good to see you, dude. Same, my friend. Today, we are going to talk about maybe premature conversation, but dude, I just want winter to be done. I want spring to be here. I want to be catching them on red stuff. Okay, and that's right around the corner. It is going to be here before we know it. And depending on logistically where you guys are, it might already be happening. So every spring there is this crazy phenomenon that fish just start triggering on red type colors. And there's all kinds of theories to the reason why fish eat red. Jeff, why do fish eat red? It's because... Um... The testosterone in the lower edge mouth bath is much higher at this time of year and the red imitates evil and 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 baths want to defeat the evil that is in their waters so then they can mate with their females and be safe there you go end of video maybe i i think that's it there's a possible theory and that is Jeff, every bit is valid as a theory saying that red is a bright color they can see, red disappears in water and it becomes a subtle color they can't see. I mean, you guys can dive down as many different rabbit holes as you want to try to figure out exactly why red triggers fish at certain times. At the end of the day, as Griff would put it, it just gets bit. Right? So red is just one of those colors in the spring that's important to have on. You tie it on, you use it. When those fish are in a pre-spawn mode, they react to it incredibly well. And there are times that if you're not throwing it, you're not getting bit. I mean, case in point, like fire crawl jackhammers. I can't think of anything over the last few years that's been more impactful than a fire crawl jackhammer during that pre-spawn mode. So you know our goal today is to just try to educate you guys on baits that we personally use baits that have been a standard for you know 10 15 years baits that are you know new and hot now that are important to have in your arsenal when it's time to be throwing the red bait so let's let's start diving down the rabbit hole jeff since i brought up the fire crawl jack camera let's just let's just start here mm -hmm. okay so pretty much everyone on the planet now is aware of the fire crawl jack camera and again it's just a red and orange color uh, it has a black blade definitely a staple when those fish first move up if you guys are fishing around any type of grass aquatic vegetation this is a great one to use in pre-spawn now there are some other baits that you could add to this. Tickle recently just redeveloped their Blade Waker and created a Firecraw Blade Waker as well. So if you think of the Jackhammer as the bait that you're gonna let kind of get down a little bit deeper, maybe tick the grass, 
the blade waker can be the bait that's gonna stay up a little bit higher in the column. So you could fish it in shallower water, you can fish it as a wake bait, you can fish it uh, through some real snaggy stuff that the jackhammer might snag in that this will come through cover a little bit better. So this is a redesigned, redeveloped blade waker. So, you know, super strong hook, just a great addition. So you get a little bit of a one-two punch here with your, you know, vibrating jig, your chatterbaits. There are times also when, you know, again, this isn't, no, this is secret stuff, right? So you may get to the lake and there may be a hundred people in front of you throwing a fire crawl jackhammer. Sometimes you can mix it up and just go to a swim jig. So Evergreen makes the grass ripper in the same color in the fire crawl color. Of course, there are tons of swim jig brands, so go with whatever brand you guys like. Uh, but this gives you an option to stay in a redder bay, still fish it through the aquatic vegetation very easily, and still give you that same triggering color, so that could be a great option as well. Okay, the other bait that is pretty much a standard everywhere in the country during pre-spawn is a square bill. So, you know, usually for a starting point for me, especially those fish start moving shallow, I'm either throwing a jackhammer or chatterbait, a blade waker, or I'm throwing some form of square bill, right? So, you know, there's not a right or wrong to this. It's whatever you have confidence in. Sometimes maybe if I'm fishing more around wood and rock, I'll go with crankbait. If I'm fishing more around, you know, vegetation, I'll go with the chatterbait. But at the end of the day, you have to start somewhere throw it out there, see what kind of response they give you, and then adjust accordingly, right? So I'm gonna fly through some of the more popular square bills in red that just are great at triggering response. So, you know, first up, the LC series of crankbaits from Lucky Craft. These have been a staple for ages. They are available in a silent and a DRS. And I really like the DRS sound. So you basically have one knocker in there that gives the fish a little bit of sound. It gives them just something else to kind of trigger to that I really dig. In the Spro Little John, same thing. There is a one single rubberized tungsten weight in there. So you get that same kind of knocking sound and a real low pitch sound in there that's just different. It's something to trigger the bite on there. So another great one. So usually for me, one of these two become my starting point when I'm looking for you know a shallow diving square bill option. Some other ones that have become favorites of ours over the last few years and definitely ones that if you guys are crankbait fanatics like we are, you're gonna want to add to your arsenal. We talk about the Depths Evoke series a lot. This is a no brainer if you're fishing around wood. So if you guys are fishing stumps, any type of you know wood type trees, this bait comes through wood better than any crankbait I've ever seen. This is a must have uh, for anything snaggy like that. If you're fishing open water vegetation, it's really tough to beat this dude. This is the Mega Bass S Crank. Now the S Crank has been around for a while, still a highly underutilized bait. This is a bait that has a built-in hunting action. It's not a great deflecting bait. So if you're trying to bang into wood, something like that, because it's hunting and always kind of moving to the side, those hooks swing, they get really snaggy. But if you're fishing open water or grass to where it's really easy to kind of feel it bog down and rip it out, this bait is incredible because it triggers strikes a lot like a jackhammer, even without hitting things. E2 crawl, is one of the best colors. It's a combination of that kind of orange and red. You can see kind of in combination, E2 Craw is a little more gold maybe, but very similar color tones to a straight fire crawl. So another one that's great. As far as like an all around use, if you guys want just a bait that is great for kind of grinding in rock, it bounces off cover great, it also works in open water, then I usually go with either that LC or the Mebro Warlock. Now this is the Warlock 2.5. It's a very buoyant bait. Another great one to just kind of bounce off and you know bang around. Alabama Red Craw is the name of this color. Again, they're all very similar, but any of these crankbaits can be really good tools in pre-spawn. Now if you need to get a little bit deeper in the column, there's a great color from Mega Bass called Spawn Killer. And you'll know 
you'll notice as you go through a lot of the brands that Spawn Killer is a is becoming a more popular color tone throughout lineup. So this is a color that you can find in a lot of places. Similar to E2 Crawl, it's kind of like a transparent version of it, right? So again, it's combining those reds and oranges and just giving you that nice look. What's nice about Spawn Killer is that you can find it in some deeper diving things as well. So you can get it in baits like the Deep X, you can get it in baits like the Big M, right? So you can find it in some deeper diving stuff. So if you guys are fishing, you know, more transition areas that are riprap or rock, it's a great one to be able to fish that little bit deeper zone, right? That four to 12 foot zone, this can be a great one as well. Now let's talk about riprap, a little bit deeper zones, right? Sometimes those fish aren't really shallow yet. They're not laying in the grass. They're not tucked up in that wood. They're still transitioning up. They're either still in deeper water or they're suspending off. And this is a great time of the year to catch them on a jerkbait. Now you can go back through several of the last few Bassmaster Classics that have been held at a pre-spawn time. And you know, guys like Hank Cherry, you know, they're jacking them on a jerkbait and for good reason. A jerkbait is a great bait to use during pre-spawn. Now, if you're looking for some red options, these are a couple of the great red options that continue to produce. So OSP makes some great red shades in their Varuna. I, was, I noticed you were looking at me weird. OSP makes some great red shades in their Varuna as well as the Rudger. This is a color called Sunset Tiger. Very similar to a Firecraw type color. It's got a little bit of purple in it. The reds and oranges, just a great pre-spawn spring bait. Valley Hill also makes a small version in their Bee Freeze GP65 dive. So if you need something really finessey, you can get that same kind of red color in more of a finessey type jerk bait for the deeper water, lighter line conditions. All right, another standard type, you know, bait that we use a lot in the spring, especially for kind of ripping in and out of grass for dragging around sand is a lipless bait. Now, I can't think of a bait, at least out here on the West Coast, more prolific to this time of the year than an LV500. This is just the standard lipless that everything is kind of, you know, judged against. And these are the two main red colors. So you have spring crawl to the right, which is a little bit darker red, got a little more black hue to it. Then you have TO crawl, which is a little bit brighter red, a little bit more orange. Either way is great. The OB500 is a great bait for dragging in the grass, ripping it out, has a great way of just kind of freeing itself from vegetation. So it's a great one to kind of bring in and out. It's also a great one for just kind of dragging around like a jig. It just gets bit in a lot of different ways. Now, if you're looking for an alternative to an LV500, maybe a different option, you could certainly go with like an Aruku Shad or you know Red Eye or something like that. But the Vibration X Ultra in either Fire Crawl or E2 Crawl is another great one to add. It's gonna be a similar profile, it's gonna be a similar weight, but it's gonna have a little bit different shade, a little bit different action, a little bit different pitch to the rattle. So it makes it a great alternative. You guys are fishing waters where everybody's throwing an LV500, then maybe just mix in a Vibration X Ultra into the mix and you can get some bites that everybody else isn't getting. All right, and then, you know, of course, spring's an amazing time too to throw a spinner bait. We all love throwing spinner baits in the spring. It's just a great way to fish around, cover, and present a bait that's relatively snag free. And more and more brands now are developing red type shades in their spinner baits as well. And these are a couple of the key ones that we use a lot. I love the Gancraft Killers Bait Over series of spinner baits. It's an amazingly durable spinner bait. It's designed for heavy line, big fish, heavy cover. So in the spring, it just sets itself up so perfectly because that's all the stuff that we're generally using. So if you guys are fishing around some nasty stuff, they make some great red colors in there. It's a great heavy cover spinner bait. If you guys are fishing more open water or a little bit lighter cover, maybe sand or more, you know, just like sparse grass, the OSP High Pitcher is an amazing one. You could also incorporate like the V9 spinner bait from Mega Bass. Both of those would be great, more open water. So they're just gonna be a lighter wire, gonna have a little harder hit, a little harder vibration, not quite as durable is this guy for hauling fish out of heavy cover. So just a couple good options, but spinnerbait can also be a great way to jack them when they first move up. 
All right, another great way to catch them when they really start keying in on red, especially when these fish move really shallow, is top water. So a lot of times, a lot of these baits just can't be worked effectively enough because they dive too deep, they grind too hard, they're spooking the fish, where you can throw a topwater bait and have it skim just over the top of them, but still get that same trigger response. Now, a few years ago, I was fishing with a buddy of mine, Kenichi, who was at the time working for Mega Bass, and he was insisting that a red frog was super critical during pre-spawn. I had never really thrown a bright red frog, and he absolutely mopped me. Became a believer. So, you know, if you guys are, are fishing areas where they respond to a frog, this would be areas where maybe they're on super shallow flats, they're in aquatic vegetation, you know, the fish are living relatively shallow to where something moving barely over their heads could potentially trigger them. This could be a great one. This color is called Akazemi. This is in the big gabbit from Mega Bass. This is definitely one to keep tight on during the spring months. A couple other baits that are great. This is a color called Red Scale, a relatively new one from Depths, but they're starting to build it in their topwater baits like the Buzzjet Junior. So you're getting a small moving kind of prop bait on the surface. And then of course, you know, we talked about Fire Crawl earlier. Evergreen is building that same Fire Crawl color in their Loud Buzz Buzz Bait. So now you can present a Buzz Bait in the same color tones as the Jackhammer for when they want something more right on the surface and in super, super skinny water. Jeff, what about soft plastics? Do you ever mess with soft plastics when they move up in pre-spawn in red type tones? Oh, uh, no, because they don't make a 10 inch mag draft in all red. This, that would make sense a bit for of a you. For I wonder me. if they would. Maybe we should get some red dye and, and play that with one? it. We'd okay. probably need like 42 buckets of red dye so. <laughs> to make a red mag draft. But wouldn't that be cool? Hmm. That would be kind of cool. Now, different. now my wheels are spinning. Okay. So I grabbed a handful of soft plastics. For me, the majority of the time, dude, I'm, I'm reaction bait fishing yeah. in mm -hmm. pre-spawn. I just want to cover a lot of water, and, and we're really trying to get some triggers going, right? Yep. But there are times when maybe you have determined that, hey, these fish are in this little ditch or in this 100-yard stretch or whatever, and if you're fishing a multi-day event or a multi-day trip, or you know maybe you're just working back and forth through an area and you really want to pick it apart, you can only throw a crankbait or a chatterbait or a topwater so many times before they're they're wise to you, right? So maybe some of these baits can be good options to pick up an extra bite or two. And some of these make great trailers on some of these baits that we just spoke about. So I'm just gonna highlight a few of the key ones just so you guys know in case you want to play with something different. So Kitek recently developed the Fire Craw color in their Fat Swing Impacts. It's available in a few different sizes. You can use it on its own. You can use it, of course, as a trailer for the swim jig would be great, or the jackhammer, so that could be a solid option. Now, speaking of jackhammers, one of our favorite baits to use as a trailer on Fire Craw, or really on any jackhammer, is the Depths Death Hatter. Now, on a full-size jackhammer, you're gonna wanna use the five-inch Death Hatter. On the Stealth Boy, you can get away with the four. What this does is it tightens up the action of the jackhammer. We've talked about this quite a few times. A jackhammer by nature is a real wide movement. If you put a traditional trailer like a Zocco or Razor Shad or Fat Swing Impact, it's just continuing that kind of wide movement. By going to a Death Hatter, it forces it to kind of tighten up its vibration. So it's a lot like going from a wide wobble crankbait to a flat side crankbait, just tightens it up. And that can be really, really effective in the colder months of the year. So when that water temp is a little low, like it usually is in pre-spawn, this can be a great option. So just by going to the clear red, that can make a great trailer. A couple other baits that you might want to consider. OSP makes a color called Bloody Shad. That's kind of a reddish hue. So again, makes a great swim jig trailer. You can also fish it on its own. You can use it as an A-rig option to kind of mix and match colors. And then Mega Fast makes a really cool little bait called the Rock Hog. And we speak about this one a lot too. You can free rig this bait. You can use it as a chatterbait trailer, but you can also fish this like a buzz frog, like a horny toad or something like that, and just kind of burn it on the surface. So a lot of versatility to this. So any of those could find useful as tools for you guys during this time of the year. All right, guys, so that is a wrap. Hopefully that was useful. I'm sure you guys have 
some of your own tools that you find to be super effective this time of the year when they're feeding on red. And if you wanna share, we would love to hear. I want the community to grow as a whole. So if there's any baits I left out or anything that you want to share, please drop it below down in the comments so we can all learn from each other. If you guys have questions on anything that we covered, let me know, I will definitely get answers. Jeff will leave links to the products if you wanna check any of them out closer, uh, please do. And guys, have a wonderful rest of the winter. Spring is coming, hallelujah. Until next time, guys, thank you for the support and the time. We will see you soon. Peace out.